Hello, wonderful people. How are you? Today, I am going to give you a message, a very, very beautiful message from an important, from the emissaries. I'm going to talk about repeated numbers and I'm going to talk about stuff that we hear. I'll tell you all about it on the other side. So let's just start with the, the repeated numbers, okay? It was something that occurred to me the other day and I thought I must tell everybody that. So, you know, we talked about repeated numbers and the emissaries give their spin on it about, you know, it means that you're on the right track, it means that you're in the right vibe, everything like that, yeah? And I haven't talked about them since. But what I'm aware of now is I've normalized repeated numbers. Before, when I used to see repeated numbers, I used to go, oh, look, oh, I used to mention it to my wife, look, repeated numbers. Now, I see them all of the time. And it's like, God bless you now. It's like, yeah, repeated numbers. But it's, a, it's more now than ever. But they don't impact me now because it's so common. It's just like standard stuff. What's it like for you? Are you aware that you begin you began to normalize these kind of messages? You know, I suppose it's important not to normalize them too much to actually be excited about it because it's it's incredible, isn't it? And I'll tell you about the the stuff that about hearing what other people say. So I've been I think we're in this incredible shift at the moment, like bigger than ever. There's something really big shifting, really big. And when I'm listening to other people talk, they keep talking about it as well. And they haven't talked to me. Yeah, I don't think they listen to my channel. And yet they're saying the same things like, we're in this moment of the what we would call the Great Awakening, where people are starting to smell a rat. I think that's probably the best way of, of putting it. They don't know what the hell is going wrong, but they know there's something seriously going wrong. And I listened to a guy the other day, um, and he was talking, he was actually talking about finance and about how to get out of uh, paying your council tax, uh, which is illegal. But he, he then, at the end, he kind of rounded up by saying, there is no way that this is going to continue the way that it is. We are coming up to a massive change where people take back the power, where we become sovereign, etc., etc. But it's the same thing. I think... You know, there's a lot of us, maybe not 8 billion, maybe not, but there's a lot of us. And so when we want to take back our power, we will take back our power. There is no choice to the matter. And remember, you know, you might say, well, yeah, but you've got, the, you know, the army and the fire brigade and the police and all them. You know, who are we against them? They are us. They are us they too are going through their awakening. They too. Somebody was talking about the, the council uh, and he said, understand that within the council, people are waking up as well. You know, he was talking about the council tax. But it's, it's you know, nobody's um, averse to waking up. It's going to hit everybody. That's because the vibe's the way it is. Anyway, so just, it's nice to hear it confirmed by other people who aren't perhaps in the, the same kind of, spiritual vibe you know they're talking about more more earthbound stuff but they've still got exactly the same sense yeah okay so uh, as usual i was talking with the emissaries i asked them how they were they said they were really busy and i said busy doing what i didn't say it that way busy doing what i want to know what are you doing and they said uh advising helping encouraging nudging those with whom we are working okay and I said so how many I've asked this before didn't get an answer still didn't get an answer but I said how many souls are you working with how many beings are you working with and they said we can't we can't give you a number and I said okay right but are you working with only people who were on this in this uh, reality this you know on the on this planet and I said not directly because we work with soul groups and the soul groups often are linked to other things and they're not all here on the, on the, on earth. So I said, so, um, but they said indirectly, yes, because even the soul groups are linked with people here on the earth. So their, their remit is earth, but they do work in many other ways. Yeah. So I said, why can't you give me a number? I said, if you were, if I were to push you for a number, 
and they said we can't because and and they've talked about this before and what they show me is that the the beings aren't one there can be one there can be many in and the change the same as the emissaries have said this about themselves the number changes according to the needs at that moment and so it's constantly in flux so there isn't you know one so i suppose we've got to get our head around one soul isn't one soul if it needs to be more it'll be more okay that might include us too so i asked them i said look because Basically, I'm recording this very early uh, because the f next week, the week that this is published, I'm running a, a course. I'm running one of our Spanish immersion courses. And so I wanted to get some messages. So I said, you know, have you got a message for everybody? And they said, yes, we have. The message is this. Everyone, me included, must remain flexible. As flexible as possible as we move forward okay and they said the, the, this was their big big statement they said whatever you see happening whatever it is that you see happening stay fixed in the understanding that this has a beginning a middle and an end and the end is always a happy ending that wasn't their words and my words they said it, it's always going to move toward good Right, this is a beginning, a middle, and an end. Right, I think, not sure where we are. I think we might be in the middle, heading toward the end. But the happy ending, so we're in the middle. Yeah. Why were they saying that? They were saying, and they reinforced this no matter what you see, you must always remain flexible. And what they were talking about is this they said, we all have beliefs. Okay, and we hold on to these beliefs. And then what we do is we look for confirmation of our beliefs. When we see confirmation of our beliefs, we feel happy. Like when I hear other people saying, hey, this is going to you know, get sorted and everything, I'm happy. It's confirmation of my belief. Okay. But they said, no matter what we believe, we must allow flexibility in that belief. So what they were saying was that, when things happen that don't match our belief this isn't this isn't what should be happening what can happen is if we hold too tightly onto the belief we we go on a downer we get depressed we get sad we get uh, uh, disheartened and what they're saying is let your beliefs go and hold on to the fact that this is a path that we're on and it has an ending and it's a happy ending so examples might be, you know, if you truly think that Mr. T is going to save the world, that's a fine belief, but don't be too rigid with it so that when you see things that don't match that, you don't think, oh, it's all gone to shit, right? This, this, is, this is what the, the idea is that they're offering, is if you hold too tightly to your belief when it doesn't match what's happening, you think that we're losing. And they said, we're not. It's just your belief isn't, nobody knows what's going to happen, okay? Nobody knows what's going to happen. We don't know shit. We honestly don't know shit. And whoever tells you that they know it and they've got intel and all, they don't know shit. Nobody knows how this is going to play out. But it has a beginning, a middle and an end and it's going to play out. So if you, you know, if you believe that this is going to be a solar flash and that's going to transform everything and then it doesn't happen, that doesn't mean that it's it it hasn't worked in it and we're lost right it's just that your belief is not fitting in with the plan okay the same as you know if you believe that you're going to be taken up into a spaceship and you don't get taken up that doesn't mean that it hasn't worked it doesn't mean that you were wrong that you 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 thought it was going to be good and it wasn't okay so all of these beliefs that we hold you know if you believe that the white hats are in control and then something happens that tells you that they're not don't worry about it that belief is meaningless beliefs don't mean anything it's just what we hold there's a little bit of hope that we hold but we can have beliefs we must have beliefs but if we hold on too tightly to them then we get our fingers burned because when something happens that says 
that bully's a load of crap, isn't it? They're like this. Okay, this has a beginning, a middle and an end. We're heading at this only one direction that this can go. So let it happen. Let it play out in the way that it's meant to play out. That's it. That's their message. So it's kind of, it's one of hope, always a message of hope, but it's a one of like, you know, don't worry, be happy. And and just be relaxed a bit, like a little bit more relaxed, I think. I think we're all, you know, we want it so much that we're hanging on to anything that seems very plausible to us. Well, that's possible. Yeah. Just let it happen. Let it play out. When we do that, I think what happens is we have more flexibility of thought and we also leave ourselves open to be guided about what we're supposed to be doing. Because if, you, if you've got too rigid of a belief, you start doing things, don't you, based on your belief. Well, I'm going to do this and this and this. Sometimes you don't even need to do that. Sometimes it creates you a massive amount of stress, unnecessary stress, because you're working on a belief that isn't even true. Yeah. So let's see how it plays out. This is, this is the last five minutes of the film. Right, obviously it's a long film. It's a long bastard, okay? But it's the last five minutes of the film. So just like hold tight, hold tight and stay excited. I think that's key. I feel very excited at the moment. I feel really excited. Like, what the hell? What the hell? And I'm watching what's happening. And I'm just thinking, what? Everywhere, look. oh, what the hell? Incredible, incredible. So there you are. That's a message from the emissaries. I love you all and I'll see you all on Friday. Bye-bye.